So today I'm gonna compare selling on Etsy and Amazon. And I wanna give you my opinions to see if it's worth it because me and my mom, we do both. Well, let me give you a little backstory. So me and my mom have an online business, but we do pop-ups every week. Um, our online business sales are, of course, is not where we want to be. So of course we branched out to Etsy and Amazon. Now, I always wanted to be a seller on Amazon. I always hear good things about it. And if you're on TikTok, you guys always see people saying how much they be making and how they do drop shipping and all that. So, of course, we wanted to try it. And, okay, we, we, I'm going to break it down. <laughs> so, that being said, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. My channel is all about entrepreneur life, vlogs, beauty, and lifestyle. Now it's all about entrepreneur life. You know, I have tunnel vision right now. I have a goal I want to meet. So now that's out the way, let's let's talk. Let's put this down. All right, let's talk about Etsy first. So I'm gonna have the link in the description. If you guys want to check out our site, so Etsy charges 10 cent per item you list, and I believe it's every month they charge you 10 cent, and they charge I think about 6.5 percent once you make a sale. So, um, the selling fee is kind of steep in my opinion, but Etsy do a lot of promoting for you. They have ads and all that. I love that. We've been, and it tells you uh, what ad, I mean, what item you have on the ad that's been selling. Talk about the listing. When you list items on Etsy, it, well, it's kind of easy. I say, I give it, yeah, I give it, it's, it is easy compared to Amazon. So, you can put any type of picture you want, it doesn't no matter the background, your own pricing. Um, you can use descriptions to help the item you're selling. And mostly Etsy is more so for pieces that you make. Um, you can sell other items. I do. I sell literally I put everything <laughs> I put everything on my Etsy. Um, and we we make sales. We make, it's not like this week when he made about like two sales this week but compared to our website we haven't made any this week so far and today is thursday so yeah i like etsy reviews is everything especially on etsy if you have a bad review it's gonna it's gonna mess you up your score if you have a good score of course they're gonna boost your stuff um our sales are like i mean our score thing whatever our stats is like at 4.3 I think and 4.8 is that's what the the goal apparently 4.8 uh, let's talk about Amazon and like I said I always wanted to be on Amazon so the Amazon is the process of becoming a seller on there is long and tedious you need a phone interview I mean a video interview they take all your information <laughs> They do, I feel like they're doing too much, too much. And then they have to verify your address, they have to mail something to your house, and then send me a code. And once all that goes through and it's approved, then you're you're able to start selling on it, right? Versus on Etsy, anybody can just sign up and, and all that. So keep that back in your mind. But, and then let's go back to Amazon. I'm sorry, I'm, going, I'm jumping back and forth. <laughs> so with Amazon, I feel like they're doing too much to verify, make sure you're a real person, I think, um, like most scammers. But, fun fact, like literally the week that I signed up, I got a spam email from them saying that my account has been suspicious activities on it, whatever. So I'm like, they're doing all this stuff and I still got, you know, I got the little spam in. But anyway, back to Amazon. So everything has to be approved. You have to pay, forty dollars regardless if you sell or not every month and a dollar if you make a sale i feel like forty dollars a month is kind of steep well it is steep in my opinion the items you sell have to be approved the pictures you upload has to be on a white background and and you need a usb uh, usb a up upc number um or a isb number okay it's, it's so complicated um and the thing is like all the clothes that we have are are from our wholesaler we have a wholesale license and the package it does come with the number only like we have like we have a lot of clothes only about a few of them were approved 
and we got them from a wholesaler and that's the thing i don't like and so then um let's talk about the the pictures you can list so they only want a white background so we have a uh, i'm gonna probably post it right here the picture that we put it's a white background it was denied i was like i'm so upset it's, it's so frustrating because like everything that we put on the site like our clothes from bourgeois boutique none of them got approved um so i feel like amazon's more so for drop shipping or if you go to alibaba if you pick stuff like that on there and sell it i think that's more so for amazon uh, i'm still trying to get the hang of it for selling you know bourgeois which is me and my mom's items our stuff but so far only the stuff like that has been approved because i tried it i tried to pick something from alibaba you know how um this is video i saw a day of they of they explaining how they sell on amazon and everything that they sell i tried to i just wanted to see because literally everything i put up was not getting approved the downfall for for both etsy and amazon is accepting returns i don't like i don't like returns on on our website we don't accept returns because it's a lot going on i don't want people to just try it on or wear it for a day and then return it but amazon you have to accept returns so yeah, keep that back here by too, guys. So overall, it's up to you which one. But in my opinion, uh, I say if you're making money on either one, continue to do it. Even one sale is still good because it's going to end up growing. So I'm just gonna stick with it with both of Etsy and Amazon. When I first started with Etsy, it took me three months to make a sale. But I didn't have a lot of items on there, and yeah, I didn't have any reviews. So the, the better reviews, but this goes for Amazon as well. The better reviews, the more they push you. So yeah. So overall, I say just do both. Life is about taking risks, <laughs> and yeah. So those are it.